subtle. When you think of subtle, you think of Joe Rock. Oh yeah, that's working. That's working. You go, girl. That is working. Should I put stripes on it? Accent color. Should I put stripes? So we learn from our mistakes. <laughs> Put a little more green. Now, I take more off if I wipe. I take less off if I blot. But I've got a very, very narrow window of opportunity because this dries really fast. I think I have done enough damage to this. And I do have a lot of students that cannot let something alone. Uh, quite a few teachers uh, painting professors especially will come up and take your painting away from you because you're overworking it and you can't stop but I like this guy I have enough time to destroy another one <laughs> I think I have ah, goody I have another one I can do another flat one or I could do a dimensional one now, I didn't get to show you guys how to make them in three dimension but it's the same thing as two dimension except it has another side now, the only thing in this world that's so thin, it only has one side, is a French pancake or an argument with my mother. But so these fish have two sides. Okay, now, the fun thing that you're going to like now is, a while ago, we went yellow, red, and then green. All right, we're going to use the same colors, but we're going to use them in a reverse order, okay? It makes a difference which order that you put them on in. So this time... I'm going to, ah, what the hey, I'm going to go, I want to go my favorite color. i got to do that. You guys have to see this. This is my favorite trick. You are going to absolutely love this. This color, I discovered it a couple of years ago. It is so intense. I call this my magic blue. Okay. I play with this stuff all the time. Get ready for this, guys. This is just a little bit wonderful. Now, this blue is very, very intense. Can you see how intense? It's electric. The only bad thing about it, it stays on your fingernails for days, which has been really embarrassing to me to go places with blue fingernails. Of course, I've made some new friends most of them are hairdressers, but these are nice people. Okay, here we go. Now see that? All right. Is that wild? And every time it gets wet, the color gets lighter. You can have control. I think that's why I like sculpting. Is that not exciting, the way these colors change? I'm going to wipe a little more of it off. Oh, that's lovely. Love that blue. Now, what shall we do as a second color? We did blue already. Wait a minute. I got a killer purple over here. I better lighten it up. All right, I'm going to baptize this bad boy in the yellow. That'll lighten it up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Because yellow and blue make green Ooh. but if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzly let's give it some more green now I showed you the book a while ago and all the wonderful colors and stripes and things that were in the book so there's just no color combination that hasn't been done before in real life. Now, whew, timing is important. The longer I wait, and I used to tell bad jokes to distract people, the longer I wait, the deeper that green sets in. So here I go. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm going to paint everything. Uh-oh. I'm going to paint everything around here that doesn't. 
<laughs> I got this guy got some glue on him, but that may not be a bad thing. Uh, maybe I better hang him up. <laughs> Ooh, I like it though. This is called serendipity. It's one of the few multiple syllable words that I know. I dropped some blue on it, but I kind of like it. All right, and I'll make his eye a little redder. If I can get just a little drop of that blue, I'll put a little blue in there too. Oh, he looks good. I want to hang this guy up. I said famous last words. Okay, I want to hang this guy up. And that's the one we did together, okay? Now, let's look at here at this one. What can we do? Well, we'll give him a red eye to start with. This is called nature's paintbrush, by the way. I just stuck my finger in the clay and just touched it, and it made a perfect, it made a perfect eye. See that? All right, now the accent colors. Ooh, he is a red-eyed devil, isn't he? Well, I've got red, I've got purple, I've got white. This is looking so good. Wait a minute, let's see what stripes are look like on this guy. Okay, here comes stripes. I gotta be darker than that. Well, what the hell, we'll go red stripes. The racing stripes. Now, what you'll find out is when you should have stopped was five minutes ago. Everybody finds this out. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. <laughs> Ooh, that's an intense red. I'm having too much fun now. Okay, let me go back down to the original. Is that too intense? Remember, water is my eraser. I can go right back to my primary color. And timing is important. I like that so much. I wonder if I should do anything else to it. I've got lavender. Nope, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna leave this alone. Now, let's see. What can I hang this guy? I lost a hook. I'll put him here. Do I have anything else to paint? Well, that's a little guy. That one is blue and red. I like him. This is one of my three-dimensional fish, okay? This is like the argument with my mother. It's got two sides. So, what haven't I done yet to destroy these guys? I've got that one with the red background. I've got that one with the blue background. You know what? I haven't had a chance to use this purple yet. I'm dying to use this purple. I gotta use this purple. Okay, here I go. Purple is so much fun. Now this time, I'm gonna start out the colors in these square bottles are pure, like my conscience, okay? And the other colors are washes, so this time I'm going to start out with a pure color. Boy, it is. And the beauty of this is the only person that I have to please is myself. And I'm easy to get along with. I'm starting out with lavender as a base coat. Is this fun or what? Okay, we now have lavender as a base coat. I have to like these colors because I'll be wearing them for days. That looks great, all right? So now I gotta put my favorite blue, baptizing. Ooh, that's intense. Now remember, the white clay is very, very absorbent. So the longer that I let it sit, I mean 10, 20 seconds makes a difference. The longer that I let it sit, the more the second or third color will grab. So, if I don't like the blue, which I kind of do, I have a very narrow window of opportunity. You see it coming off? See what happened? The thing of it is, this is too much fun. 
and I have so much fun like watching a rainbow and seeing the colors change that I don't know when to quit. And it's a lot easier like the Southern Baptist preacher, you know, don't do like I do, do like I say do. So I'm afraid that I'm guilty of that as a teacher. When lots of my students are doing this, I'm enjoying it as much as they are. All right, I like this guy. What shall I do to him? I've got the red or the green. Now we know the primary colors, we know the secondary colors. What the primary colors are, the red and blue and yellow, blue and yellow making green and red and yellow making orange, all right? We know the primary colors. I wanna go either the intense green or the red. Let's see what we've done. Now this is ready for detail. I'm gonna just go ahead since I got this and touch the eye. Maybe I'll be subtle this time. This is our dry brush. Remember our dry brush? We put the paint on the brush and just go lightly. This is not unlike cooking, strangely enough. You know, a little spice, but there's a certain amount. And of course, some people like spicier than others. I'm liking this guy. I'm having way too much fun. What I'd love to do, I've got another little fish. I have others that I could paint, but I'm afraid we're running a little bit low on time, so I'd better not take on any other really big projects. <laughs> I got lipstick on this guy. <laughs> it's a female fish. Okay, or a transvestite fish. I don't know. Here we go. Get rid of the lipstick. This is looking pretty good. I did like that lavender. I think I'll just put some stripes on this guy. Not too shabby. All right. Now see up there with the more intense blue, that lavender background, I like that. But since I only have a few minutes left and I have so many other colors to play with, I think, I think I'm gonna get bold. Now remember when you're doing this, fired clay, we saw us make the clay. When you first make something, it's called greenware. Remember greenware, all right? Then it dries out and it's called bone dry. After it's totally dry, it goes into the kiln. When it comes out of the kiln, it's called bisque ware, B-I-S-Q-U-E. And I think I've painted all the fish except this one. Here we go. This is bisque ware. And where's the fish that we did earlier? Here it is. And this is green ware, all right? Now, if we glazed it, of course, it would be called glazeware, but we're painting. I prefer to paint because when you're working with this, we get to sketch it out, draw what we want to do. We uh, check the um, books to get ideas for pictures. Now we're organized, and we've got our tools and materials together. Our tools were very, very simple. Do you remember? This is the old teacher trick. We've got to do a little bit of recall. All we used was this rebar to get the texture on the fish, and we use a stick to go and pull like this. Now, again, you notice the sizes. Some are two-dimensional, some are three-dimensional, and I'm just having boku fun. You can look at me. Look, Mom, look at my hands. I'm really have fun. It's been real. Looking forward to seeing you again next time. And we'll do some more sculpting and painting and just having fun with clay. This is the Clay Workshop. Saying goodbye, folks. See you next time.